Hello, it's me, Chimmy Chemo, or the pilot from Four Sided Coin, depending on which one you recognize better. This video isn't going to be a standard playthrough of Watered Down or uh, any custom campaign. Instead, it's going to be a developer's commentary of sorts. I'm the person who created Watered Down, right? So I figured I'd just go through how it was created, pretty much, you know? Uh, a note. You should know what Water Down is, or just the general beats of it, before watching this. There's plenty of regular playthroughs online, because most of this is going to be assuming you know what it is. It's also probably going to be really boring, but... Oh well, I'm going to do it. Let's first talk about the poster. Now, it looks um, a bit uh, terrible. That's because it was the first time I touched SFM in a good while. Which didn't help, what didn't help was the fact that SFM is quite busted about Left 4 Dead stuff in general. Uh, it's gonna load in in a minute, but uh, I'll just flash up a photo of the poster. Let's see the intro first. Sorry, sun was in my eyes. Well, the ride was nice while it lasted. Yeah. It's very cool, I agree. We're not gonna be talking about this yet. Okay, we'll get to it when we get to it. Jesus. So, the thing is with the poster is that it was difficult to just get it working at all. First, the survivor models, right? You'd think it'd be as easy as just opening the add model bit, scroll into an add them, and good to go. It wasn't. For some reason, right, the, the survivors, okay, they crash every time, the program crashes every time you try to add them. For reasons unbeknownst to me, right? Because it's not the texture, because the arm models work fine. It's not the animations, because those also work fine if you select them. It's something about the model file itself that crashes. So I had to go through a bunch of, like, mounting certain things, having a different order of the game info.tech stuff, SFM, it was, it was a mess. Um, by the time I got them working, great, I didn't have a map, right? Uh, it's gonna be the fourth map of Watered Down, Fountain, but you can't just import it into SFM because it'll break. And even if it didn't, you'd still see all the like infected ladders and all the buggy things that you're not meant to. So I just edited the map file, removed all the stuff that'd be broken, and then we're good to go. I had to add all the custom textures and whatever and stuff. It was annoying, but eventually I got to it. Um, one thing you'll notice about the poster is that the water, funnily enough, looks horrendous. Um, for some reason SFM doesn't like rendering uh, higher quality water in when creating a poster. Like, they're fine. There's like a launch option you can do while in the like editing mode, and it works fine there. But something about the water itself when rendering, it just doesn't work, so that was a bit of a shame. Uh, I don't know what Rochelle is doing, by the way. Yeah, it, not sure what pose I was going for, but oh well. Uh, the logo was just... I had no idea what to do with the logo. One thing you should know about me. I am the least artistic person you will ever meet, okay? I am dreadful at anything involving stuff looking nice with 2D textures. It, it's not for me. So I just went to Photoshop, wrote in water down, rotated it a bit, and there we go. Uh, the tagline, Blood, Sweat and Tears, isn't going to be enough. I think that's what it is. I, I, despite what you can see, I can't currently see the poster, all I see is Rochelle. But, I would assume that's what it says. Uh, I, I didn't really know what I was going to go for with the tagline. That's eventually what I settled in. Doesn't really have much to do with water, but, oh well. Um, the background is just an edited version of Map 2, like little hallway because I like the lighting, but since I just copy-pasted the, the poster, it doesn't really fit, but... Oh well. Anyway, let's actually play the game now, shall we? Ignore my shotgun texture, I think it looks nice. Now, this roundabout is the first ever thing made for Watered Down. Okay, this round thing with the survivor spawning there, first thing ever. Before the name, before anything, that's what I made. 
not too sure why. I, well, I, c I went with it because I thought, hey, it'd be nice to have all four directions. Maybe the survivors could have several paths to go down. As you can see, that's not the case. Um, so yeah, hold on. That's a disable auto b-hop, because I don't need it. Um, right. You have this billboard here. One thing you'll notice is that that side is completely lit up, as opposed to this side. Uh, I was having texture. I was having issues having the thing not be covered in shadows. This the whole texture, so had to do that. Still doesn't even look that good, but oh well. I'll talk more about the poster when we get to it in the final part of this map. Uh, so let's talk about the story. The idea was that Ellis was driving the car, right, and somehow I don't know drove over all this. I'm not too sure how all this would work. But, he went over there, it crashed, it was a sad day. Um, also had to find a way to prevent the survivors from leaving without it, with it making just a little bit of sense. Um, you have these houses here, which, I'm not sure why I put so much effort into these, like, for something that you don't even have to look at at all, you go that way. Not too sure why I added them, but I did. You have this dead guy near the taxi. Put a van, there's like a little shed there and everything. Um, had this roundabout thing. I, I don't know why I didn't add these. Uh, you got these bushes, you got a bus over there. With like a bunch of corpses near it. There's also... <coughs> you can't... You can kind of see it. There's another house over there. It's very drenched in just a lot of foliage. Um, so yeah. Let's play the video game now. You have this deer sign, because why not? This Which is probably... Way? Yeah, this is probably the most exciting piece of unique lighting in the entire campaign. One thing you've got to learn about me, lighting is not my thing. Um, let's go in here. Uh, this house used to have cola bottles here. There's not any more. And it used to have a medicine cabinet here to grab pills and whatever. But since just finagling around here is such a mess and that the door clips through the sink, I just chose not to. Also, you can break all these. I don't remember if I put anything back here. I didn't. Well, this dumpster but that doesn't count. We got left path this time. Uh, there's two separate paths. Again, I'm assuming you've played this before. Uh, one thing you'll see is that the sign... Uh oh. Sure, let's go. Uh, you should probably disable the director while I'm talking about that. You know what? I'll do that. <coughs> so, yeah, the sign will either po 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 I cannot speak. The sign will either point that way if we're going that way, or that way. But the problem is, if it's going that way, there's usually like a big truck thing blocking the way, so you don't see it. Oh well. Go down this path. Um, you have the subway ticket sign. Uh, I don't know what this is meant to be. This is meant to be like a, a car park type thing, but I don't, I'm not too sure how they'd get out. First off, this thing doesn't move, nor is there any button to make it move or anything. And also, like, how are you going to, look at the amount of space there, that's, a person couldn't fit through that, I don't think Coach could. I don't know. Can you go here? I don't know. Um, now for the next bit. Good question, Nick. That is the sound of the crashed uh, airplane over there. Now, you'd think it's just, you know, it's just a sound effect that plays. It's always there. No, there is actually... Hold on. <coughs> Becoming a real-life smoker. Jeez. Uh, <coughs> there is actually a plane model that does fly roughly from around there right down to the floor, and then it plays the sound. Problem is... It starts so low in the sky, moves so quickly, and is blocked by all these trees that... Like, I wouldn't blame you for not having seen it. I've only seen it once, and that was while well, no clipping. Not sure what this was for. Uh, there's a rescue closet here. Which... Not too sure what this is meant to be. I think it's meant to be like the trash area. I don't know. Let's go into this store Here's here. There's not much to it. It's pretty standard. Uh, these boxes didn't used to exist. Uh, the about this ladder, uh, I had no idea how to 
One thing you're not you're very blocked here. You can this is as far as it goes. Uh, I probably should have let them go this way because I mean you can still drop down either way. I I didn't really know how to deal with this, so you know. And then you have the plane. Wow, nice. I agree, well, Nicholas. It is. Today. Uh. When I first started playing this game, Weapons over here. I thought, well, like, while I was making this campaign, at least, uh, I thought that snipers were terrible weapons, okay? I thought that, why would you use a sniper rifle? They're like, the game is mostly about zombies running towards you, right? So why would you use a sniper rifle for? I've now learned that they're a lot better than I gave them credit for, but, oh well. I'm gonna actually start shooting zombies now, because that's more interesting. you'll notice that my aim is not great. I don't even know that. Again, this isn't going to be a real playthrough. You're not getting the true watered-down experience with this. Um, this warehouse, I didn't really know what to do with it. Um, it was just... I needed uh, some sort of panic event to fit with that side, so... Yeah. <laughs> Got a horde. Coming. One fun thing about this is that this panic event never used to end, right? Even after the door fully opened, it still never ended. Um, the issue was that I forgot to call the input to prevent common infected from spawning, well, like, to stop the panic event. The only reason I found out was because someone made a YouTube video and pointed it out. Somehow through all my playtesting, I just never noticed. Because I played this a lot, right? I know the gameplay is terrible, but I did genuinely play it quite a few times. It's just, you know, it's hard to... I wasn't really going to change anything because that would be effort. Anyway, let's go. Got this van blocking the way here, I'm not too sure for what for. Um, oh yeah, another thing, hold on. Let's just turn off these comments. Okay. I'm not too sure what this place is meant to be, right? So, we have these lorry, the uh, semi things, right? I don't know where these are meant to go. One thing about all my campaigns, well, my two of them, Water Down and Four Sided Coin, is the more you think about it, the less it makes sense. Like, these are meant to open, right? At least they would. But then what? You're just walking into a bush, right? Same with that side. And how would you get anything to carry these? There's no trucks in here. I I don't know what I was thinking, but needed something. <coughs> got this rolled over bus, which also I don't know how it got here. Uh, we have this like ticket booth thing, I guess. I don't know. It's meant to be for the car park. I'm gonna talk about that in a bit. Uh, that voice line that I was just played. I don't know why it would be here. This shack, considering it's. There's no road leading into it. The only roads are there and over there, past the plane. Okay, I don't know... Don't shoot that car! Again, more you think about it. Um, that Ella's vo voice line, that here's some real shacks, you'll notice there aren't any. Uh, I made a guide for this game, where it was like detailing all the different info remarkable things. Uh, but the problem was... Wait, I put arrows here? Didn't even notice. But uh, I guess I didn't read the correct one, so it's just... it's been stuck playing voice lines that don't really fit. Also, this trash, it's just something with Hammer++, plus plus. you could just randomly place things. Let's talk about this crashed plane. I had no idea what to put in this car park, okay? It was... no clue, right? You can see the moon going through stuff sometimes, it's... it does that sometimes. Um, so, it was just a completely empty block of land. I, I don't know... I don't know what I was thinking about. So I just added a, a massive plane here, because I figured, hey, that's something, right? That's unique. But then just, just meant that there's now a god spot up here, because apparently I didn't fix that. Uh, that's one of the paths out of here. Shit. Whoops. Uh, and then another one is over there. Now let's talk about this, this sign here. So... Just stay here. 
This octopus, right, he's around several parts of the campaign. I did not draw this, okay? No one drew this. I used uh, AI image generation to make this because I needed some mascot character and, well, that would do. Uh, Aqua Seasoned Waterworld is the name of this establishment. Uh, this was not came... I didn't come up with this. I don't... I don't think I did. I think I asked ChatGPT to just come up with names for uh, a water park and well that's what it spat out. And the background of this is the fourth map, Fountain, but um, a pre-infection version. Uh, which basically just meant getting rid of the scaffolding. And that's about it. I don't, I don't think there was much else removed in it. Uh, there's a guaranteed common infected spawn there. Because I figured, so the idea was that like this was a survivor bit, like people were fighting for their lives here, there's like corpses everywhere and whatever, a van, which, again, who knows how it would have got here, none of the glass is broken, the doors, like you wouldn't fit, again, I don't know. Uh, the idea here, with all these corpses, was that, oh, these were all the, they were like lining up people against the reception right, and shooting them because they were zombies and whatever. Um, that is a spark to that light? That doesn't... Doesn't seem like something I do, okay. Uh, you'll notice that there's no roof here. That's not intentional. I just forgot to add a texture, so... Safe it's just empty. Here's the safe house. Uh, it's pretty standard. We have... I put a lot of crowbars everywhere because I figured that they're like not a great melee but they they do the job Everybody grab a weapon. and they also fit most scenarios of like oh, people building contraptions and whatever to hold and barricades um, <coughs> now we aren't gonna finish the, finish the level and instead we're gonna die until we get the right path or so just realized this texture's a bit screwy. Oh yeah. We here. yeah. Actually we're not gonna do that, we're gonna talk first. Uh You're this right. here texture of the tile, this was also generated by AI, stable diffusion, because it was able to create like endlessly repeating textures, seamless ones. So I figured why not make that? It's even a normal map that you can barely see. Okay, now we do everything. <laughs> Probably gonna give me left path again. Oh, Jesus, Alice. There we go. Sun was in my eyes. Well, the ride was nice while it lasted. Yeah. Now make sure you use this now. Now we got right path this time. That's good news. We'll go down it. Which way? As you can see, the sign is pointing that way. Okay, I did not lie. Although, again, you can't see because of the bus usually. Uh, an issue I had what are we while making for? this was that, okay, you see these sprites here, these little grasses? Um, these are detail sprites, right? They're just a cheap way to add all this grass and stuff everywhere, and it's done automatically by the map, the texture. The problem was that I had a few too many, because this area was huge. No. Why am I even playing with common infected? I'm just talking pretty much. Um, yeah, this whole thing, eventually it, would, it just crashed, it just didn't compile, so I had to have like a bunch of trigger, like blocks of everything, it was it was a mess. Um, now let's go to this neighborhood. Neighborhood in quotation marks, because one thing you'll notice is that it's not much of one, it's very small, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, there are 7 houses, okay. Don't move from Making houses and like just yeah. big neighborhoods is just not my thing. Okay, you can see it with water, uh, not water down, well, you can water down, but also with four-sided coin as well, because it's just a lot of effort to make uh, unique houses and to make them all look good when people won't even really look at them at all. Um, uh, this mailbox, there's a percentage chance of a pipe bomb to spawn in there. Okay, because I thought that'd be funny. Let's go through each house individually. We have this one. I think this one, the last ones I made. I left shadows enabled in the doors. There's like a shotgun here. Shotgun. Ooh, pile. And uh, the idea is that they blocked off the roof. 
I swear there's meant to be a common infected corpse here, but maybe got rid of it. Again, this house... Like, there's no kitchen here, there's no toilet, there's no bedroom. It... It's not gonna fit up there, all of that, so again... More you think about it. Um... This one's boarded off, because... Couldn't think of anything to put in there. There's also another missing texture there. How have I missed these? <laughs> I'm making them. Uh, now let's go into this house. Uh... We have this little cubby hole with fireworks that I completely Guns forgot here. I added. I don't... There's bleach here, maybe... I had the idea that this guy drank bleach and died like Project Sunboy or something, but I don't think I knew what that game was. Uh, this sink here, right? This is a... Bathroom is not much of one. This sink here, you'll notice it looks not dreadful. That's because I stole it directly from one of the maps, one of the areas from Dead Air. Because, you know. Let's talk about this section. Hello! Go away! No one gets in! Stick it up your ass! I can make you leave! Don't believe me? How about now? Yeah, and then all mates start shooting you. Um... <coughs> Sorry. I had the idea that... Well, okay, so the entity that's shooting me here is an ENV underscore weapon fire. I think, something like that. And... I had discovered that entity while making this map, and I thought, dude, wouldn't that be like a super cool easter egg to add? So, the idea of this guy, right, is that he made this whole, like, barricade for himself, and this is his bedroom. Um, this is what plays the voice lines, I think, by the way. Um, so that's, that's who's shooting you. And there's like, this was his wife that he shot. He put an oven here that you'd never see and everything. There's trees coming in through there, there's like blocking a window that you'd also never see and I didn't, I didn't even notice was there either. Anyway, Whether let's talk about this house. One thing I really tried to go for in this campaign was visual storytelling, right? Problem with that is Left 4 Dead players don't, they don't really do that, <laughs> they don't. They're not big and looking around each map thinking, oh, what what happened here? I'll tell you on this one. So, this guy here, nice. with a phone and whatever, the idea was that he had like a last stand here. Like, there's all these books here, this bookcase that broke, all these corpses everywhere, this door has been broken through, shot this guy in the head, that's why there's a blood spatter there. Because I thought, you know, it'd be... It's, it's something, right? We have this thing here, they like broke apart the fridge or something, I'm not sure how I was going there. Uh, this here rope, I don't know what's up with it. It it moves from here all the way to like a different country, I don't really know where it ends. I'm not sure why it's here, it just... It's broken that way, I never knew how to fix it. And there's... Here. Indeed. Up here we have a jukebox. Through this, window. Uh, this one doesn't start a panic event because, well... There wouldn't be much point, because there'd be another panic event there anyway. Um, uh, you know, I didn't even show this off. Uh, so, the idea here was that the military was, like, blocking off this path, right? You know, all these people, these common infected, they're trying to, trying to get them, so they block them off. But you could just go that way, around... Because there's nothing blo I mean, there's like an ambulance over there, but that's like not really stopping them. Bill's so, here. not too sure what I was thinking. Um, can you see him from here? I don't know. You can. Uh, you have this yeah. rifle here that you can't actually pick up. The idea was that like okay. the all this blood here, they were like shooting these people to prevent them, like the parish and whatever. Um, also, he's here. Uh. You'll know him as Maxwell, but his real name is Dingus. Uh, I there's a Dingus in every single chapter, okay, in, in including the survival maps and scavenge. At least I think it's scavenge, because I felt like adding him. So yeah, if you look around, you'll find him everywhere. This house is also here. Anyway, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Let's go upstairs now. We have the scaffolding bit. The scaffolding bit was always here. Uh, right. So this was stolen also from Dead Air. 
One thing you'll notice that all of this is floating, but I couldn't be bothered to move it down at any point. So, you know, there's the thingy again. It's like these things here, there's some more floating stuff so you don't see it. Uh, uh, we have this generator here, the idea was that like this generator was powering all this house here. We'll talk about this house, um, there's like a little Weapon sand pit here. that has grass in it for some reason, I'm not too sure why. Uh, uh, right, this house is like meant to be the holdout spot, you have all this stuff here to hold out with again upstairs you have this upstairs the you can't go you can't go up because this is broken here um, again this house would make no sense and even less sense because you can see that there's no bedroom or kitchen or doors in any sign of the imagination anywhere so you know uh, this is meant to be a spot for common infected to drop through it used to be tiny like inconceivably small and like the common infected would have to be perfect in their uh, positioning to actually drop down so I had to fix that um, uh, these gas cans only break once all the survivors are in this area because I figured that you know you wouldn't want some guy like just to shoot it because you can still shoot it from up there even despite the top so you know let's actually do the panic event Got him. I don't know what the, like, you ideal holdout spot is, because, you know, this is the one I intended, but I don't know if it's the best one. Can't imagine many people have played Water Down enough to say, but, you know, also that wall can be broken through, because you can tell, because of the ugly blood. Now, this uh, panic event used to be even worse, there used to be even more common infected, and this house... You, you, didn't, you didn't used to be able to go into this one, so you were just trapped out there with a tiny amount of space with even more zombies. Okay. For some reason, once the barricade breaks down, even more common infected start spawning. For some reason. I don't know why. By the way, I know this mic is dreadful, but... You have to deal with that. It's the best mic I have. Which doesn't say much. Yeah, the this is meant to be breakable, but they don't usually break it for some for some reason. Uh, Thrilling, right? I don't know if all these comments are because the, I just had the director stopped for so long or what, but like this is a lot. It's not usually this many. I, I'm just gonna get going because this is gonna be all day. Um, uh, actually, no, they're gone now. <coughs> uh, this is meant to be a football pitch. Um, you can tell because of all the corpses in the middle, because that's what football uh, makes people do. Also, these are floating, apparently. I never noticed that. Um, I used to have no idea what to do with this section. Right, there used to be, like, trailers here, or, like, a truck or something. I, I had no idea what to do with any of it, but eventually I just settled for this. You have a van here. Got some rocks. You have this outhouse thing. Which is a rescue closet with a very high res texture in there for no reason. And then we're back here. Uh, there's fences blocking off each guy. path so you don't like go backwards where you shouldn't. See that one there? So yeah. Uh, now that you've seen the first map, we're gonna no clip You're around sure. it. Because I wanna show some stuff off about it that you don't generally see. Let's just no clip to the start. Yeah. Now, one thing about this level, for some reason, I made it that every single road connects. Well, almost every single road. There's two that don't. I'm not too sure why I chose to do that. I think it's just no. You know what it was? I was thinking that people it would be like a versus thing, like oh the 
the the the, the, the people in versus they'll they'll be able to go from any point in the map from anywhere. L I genuinely thought that people would play versus on this thing. <laughs> I mean, I did technically, but it was just with bots. So yeah, you can see this road loops all the way around, even with it being broken. See the no draw there. I even put a fence here. I really put a lot of effort into this place for no reason. Looks nicer than like the rest of the map. Uh, I took the I had the inspiration for these houses from a uh, had this inspiration from these houses just from like Google Earth. Just looked at stuff and well, I figured yeah, I'll just use that. Um, these textures here, not textures, these models, these bush models that are just pretty much walls, they're annoying. The well, the way they look, right? There's as you can see, there's these like grassy bits here, but there's still an obvious hole, which meant that like there was a lot of gaps you could fit through, and like even through here, you can just see the rest of the map pretty much from this point. There's a lot of areas like that that I just had to manually go and well, no, I had to clip brushes around everything because I still didn't trust them, but you know, uh, this part as well. All of it is connected. Okay, even put winding paths for some reason. I don't you know why. Um, I said I was going to show off a lot, but now I'm thinking about it. It's not a lot to actually show off. You have this bit. There's like a bunch of trees here. Uh, the frame rate in this map is probably wretched. I used um, the Hammer++ Plus Plus just like prop spam tool pretty much to just have all the trees everywhere. Which is why there's such an abundance of them, because it was easy to make. These are meant to be for, like, versus spawning and stuff. Because, again, genuinely thought people would play versus in this. Um, what else? You have these pylons that go into nowhere. That might be it, actually. Hold on. It's gotta be something. The back of this, which is just a tree. Uh, wow. Nice. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, no, no, it's not. We got this section. Anybody hear me? So these, uh... These are the two roads that aren't connected at all. Okay. There's a missing thing here, apparently. Because I didn't know where I'd be adding those together. You got that part of the thing. Is there another piece of the wing somewhere? There should be. I feel like I would have added it somewhere. Guess not. As you can see, there's meant to be a roof over here, but as you can see, there isn't. And this doesn't go anywhere. This is taken from the next map, Changing. Well, it's, it's called Elevators, but the map name is Changing. Because, why not? Not that, like, you wouldn't be able to see it from here unless you, like, look here, and you wouldn't be able to tell that it's meant to be this kind of glass. Um... So yeah, I think that's it. We got the skybox, which is just a load of white cliffs everywhere. Hold on, I can find them. I don't remember. There they are. They're everywhere. They're so scary. Hello. Um. So yeah. Now, I'm going to show you something that you haven't seen or couldn't figure out for yourself. Another map. Uh, I have a map called Water Park One Test map 1. This is an earlier version of this map before I added certain things because I don't know I guess I just chose this map f like made a new map file for not much reason. So we're gonna play through it. Well the First ride was here. nice while it lasted. Sorry sun was in my eyes. I guess we will. Hey I got first aid kit if somebody so needs it. Uh, the voice lines there are done in a separate way, but we're not going to talk about that yet. That's going to be the last thing we talk about. First thing you'll notice is that there's dev textures everywhere. Now, this is an untextured version. I usually do the textures last because the textures make everything look worse. In my experience, you got the whole thing is missing, the octopus. But for the most part, it's pretty similar. We've got more missing texture stuff. Well, not added. Yeah, so as you can see, healing cabinet in here. We got left path again. Oh yeah. This was something else. It's not, well, it's still the car park, but now there's all these advertisements, which 
thinking about it, I'm not too sure why I removed, because I feel like it would have done a decent job at, like, lighting up the path to go, but I don't know. Also, the wall is missing here. Anybody hear me? No. The shop is pretty much the same, just with less textures. The, the truck and the wood ain't here. Uh, there's no crash sound either. Or any crash plane either. I'm as surprised as you are, pretty much. I haven't actually played through much of this. Yeah, originally you'd open the door with another button. This didn't start a panic event, so I don't know why I added it, but... Uh, don't fall for the incoming attack, that's just random. Yeah, there's a first aid kit down here. I don't know why I added one, it's not like the campaign, like it was... Oh, everyone was on the verge of death by this point, but... Still, I felt the need to add it. But this still was the panic event. Okay, even if it's not showing up, that's just because here. I have the director disabled. Not that it matters, because I don't think there's a nav mesh in this map. We're not going to wait for this. Uh, again, missing truck, missing bus and everything. The whole thingy here is missing. The guard booth I was complaining about. And now we have the car park. You'll notice it's a little bit sadder. Yeah, I had no clue what to do with it. Right, I had this big plot of land and no clue what to do with it. The roads leading into it are gone. Um, right, uh, here's the thing itself. This is more based on an actual water park that I went to while making this. Um, it's called... What was it called? Coral Reef? Something like that? I don't know. It had coral reef in it somewhere. There's not a bit of coral anywhere, so I don't know why they call it that. But this is more based on it, the whole going around thing. There's like this blockage in the way, I don't think that really was there. This rounded uh, desk thing, that was definitely in it. Uh, you got very slow doors for some reason. And then this actually has a roof, so it is better than the original water down. As you'll notice, the safe room has not changed. I, I didn't I didn't bother changing it at all. There was no, not much point. Um... Alright, right path. I forgot that there's like pretty much two maps. If you're wondering, the left path was pretty much an afterthought, if I'm honest. I did the right path first. That's why there's so much more effort into it. Um, that's why... That's why it was. Let's go this route. Uh, this is an upturned car here for some reason. You'll notice that all the houses are boarded off now. This one actually has textures in it. Even if the textures are different. Because I didn't know what to do with it. I, like, had ideas. No, like, how I wanted the place to look, pretty much. There's the window there. We have a bus this time, instead of the... the uh, Humvees. That's interesting. Let's go on to here. This place is nicer now. Oh, there's no door here, it's just a wardrobe. Um, this is still broken and everything. So that didn't change. No jukebox here, no TV, no nothing. It says SOS here, backwards. No, it doesn't. Um, this. I didn't want people, you know, going here, trying to drop down, but then not being able to, because they're not meant to, they'll just go out of bounds. So, I don't know if you really caught on, I, I guess you didn't pay much attention to it, but the regular watered down first map, there's a broken bit here. And this one, I just put a big chunk of plywood here for no reason. Doesn't make too much sense. Um, as you'll notice, no panic event. It did not include it. Nor could you go in this house, okay? That's closed off. You can drop down here, but there are ladders here. So yeah, there used to not be a panic event here. But I added one since that path had one, so I figured why not. Here's the trailers that I was talking about. Can you guys hear me? No idea what I was going for with this section. Still don't. Here's a delivery van that I'm not too sure why I didn't remove. Well, why I did remove. I feel like it would have fit this thing here. Uh, the fences aren't present in this one. I didn't add them yet. Because, well, no one was going to break the map yet. I was the only one playing it. So, yeah. That's watered down map one, roadside, and all the cut content of it. Is uh, what I would be saying if I was a liar. This is actually, well, the finished version of this, is version 2 of Waterpark 1 Road. 
uh, there used to be a completely different version. Completely. Right? That I had worked on pretty much finished, minus some detail like the textures and whatever. But then I realized that it was kind of shit. Got rid of it. Well, like, re redid it. Hello? And then I overwrote the file, and I'm very angry with myself that I did that, because I'd love to play it again. I do pretty vividly remember most stuff about it, which is why I'm going to show you an MS Paint drawing of it, assuming I've been recording this whole time. This is my masterpiece. This is a recreation of the original version of Watered Down Map 1. As you'll notice, it is 100% accurate to how it would have looked like in the game. I'm being sarcastic. <clears throat> now, you'll notice that the roundabout, always been here, has not ever disappeared and was never going to. Um, but, again, you would also go the same route, this is still, if you're facing that way, when spawning you'd still go left. This is where things start changing. This here is meant to be a bus, right? Now I know this because I remember learning of the logic choreographed scene entity and how you can use it to have survivors play voice lines. And I felt like the biggest genius when I figured that out, right? Having to be able to go here and Ellis and Buzz, Buzz barking away. away. It was great. <laughs> I've now used talker scripts, but we'll get to that. Uh, you would the correct path would be going left here, right? The path on the right used to have some stairs here. Uh, there was a, there was a broken stair here, and in there would have been a pistol. Going through here, there was like a moving out place. There was just a bunch of boxes. There was um, a boarded up area here with a corpse behind there. And I remember this because Ellis would have said, "The whole thing, thing just makes, makes me, me feel uncomfortable. uncomfortable." Uncanny impression. I know. Now, to the left, this is where you would have gone. This is the interior of a house. I'm not drawing all of it, but I remember there being a kitchen here, being a living room here, there was like a closet here, you'd go upstairs, there'd be more of the whole, my tried and true, um, have I forgotten the word? Visual storytelling, right, there'd be more of the corpses and the people like holding out type thing, there's been a balcony, it would have dropped off, there was a generator here that would have faced this way, and there were a bunch of picnic tables here. Through here, you would have, in quotation marks, a neighborhood. Because just the same as as it is today, there wasn't many houses, but there were even less. There there might have been another one here, but there were there were three at the most. Um, I don't remember if you, you can go into this one. I don't know if you could go into the other one. So I know you can go in this one. There was like a living room. There was like a, a kitchen. Going upstairs, there would have been like a like a sniper nest that you would have to broke into. You could have climbed up using like a rope. It was cool. Uh, then going this way would have had... This would be the car park to the entrance of the water park. Um, I, this is where I learned about the logic case entity. And I used to have like a bunch of billboards like randomly placed around everywhere. Did not change the gameplay in the slightest, but they were there. As for the interior of the water park, then couldn't tell you. I I don't remember a thing about it. And as you can see, the row did still line up. I'm still angry I deleted the file. I would like to see it again. Now, despite how simple it is... Um, take a look at this. This is... Now that I'm looking at it, it's a very suspicious thing. Question mark doesn't help. I had no idea what to do past this, like, gate here. I was completely out of ideas despite having only two things in the map uh, one of the ideas and the only one that I remember was having like a long winding path and it would lead to like a big field with a farmhouse that would make me sneeze pardon me and I got I think I got pretty far into making it I made the whole interior and like a chicken coop cow coop thing I don't know then I got rid of it, and then we got to this. Uh, so yeah, that's actually the end of me talking about the first map. The rest of them are far less exciting, because this, th th this was my first... Well, first finishable map ever that I made for Left 4 Dead 2. I made another one 
but it was literally just like a square so we're not gonna talk about it but this this was important and I'm very angry I deleted it anyway on to elevators slash changing depending on what you call it dumb shit 